Okay, so we're having a break with RL Craft because I need it. My, uh, something happened and you would have to watch in the end to see what even happened because I don't want to play it. I lost everything I had and I can't find it and that's so much to work for to get back. So for now, I am trying out this new mod, which is a zombie type mod. I'll put in the description about what it is called narrator narrates and all narrator. i find it very narrates interesting chat. narrator now, i was messing around with the buttons <laughs> trying to figure out what everything does that it's i'm trying to learn my way through using a book and yeah, uh, there's just a lot of boring stuff to go through so most of this is going to be cut out of the video but you'll see it gets pretty hectic. Uh, if you can't see out with that little blip right there, there was no inventory either. I only have my hotbar. So that's interesting as well. And what we're going to have to go through is just the wilderness. I don't know what to do. I have no clue. Man's out in the world doing doing something. I, what the something is, I don't know. Now, in, in most of the beginning... I was just figuring out the buttons. I learned that grass, when you break it, can give you different seeds and food or like flint. You can get throwable flint too, which is somewhat interesting. Uh, you can make a pile of hay. I was just learning about the crafting because I have no clue what to do. This is totally different from our L craft. It's not as hard, but it's more, I, I guess, confusing. Because even the flint tools is a bit different. You can also make a flint and steel with a stick and flint. Uh, depending on how much you use is how much you get to use yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking through what mans can get. And temperature is also going to be an issue. Going through with this. I, I don't know. It seems pretty interesting. It seems pretty fun. Learning my way. I always like zombies and anything zombie-like. There's another one I want to try, though. Because most of them don't really have it. But the other mod that I have seen, that I might try out as well, has guns and explosions and all these cool things. There's even vehicles and tanks. We're going to have to try that out later if you like this video. And if you do, let's try to get the three likes or even just say you like it. Heck, just view it for a minute or so, and that's fine, too. It's at least somewhat interesting. I would know it is interesting. I find it fun to play. But is it really fun to watch? That's what I'm going to figure out. I burnt this tree down so I could get warm. I also realize I can't get wood. So, for a while, I'm not going to go anywhere. As we skip through most of the boring bits, here we find ourselves in a forest. But I actually found a building, which is insanely huge. And it's also made of stone. So my man's gonna have a castle. I get to fortify it. Isn't that swell? And then I started beating a zombie with a stick. Which, if you put a stick in the crafting area in your inventory, you can make a sharpened stick. But I did not do that yet, because I am a numbskull. A big old poo poo head, a dummy. Hopefully, I'll figure that out later. And do not get hit by these things. They may not be as hard, but if you get hit, you get dehydration, hunger. Of course, you take damage, which your body is made of just a couple hearts. Uh, you get dizzy, disorientated. And it's just a very bad day for everyone, all I know. It takes so many hits, and it's just night one. There's multiple nights of this we gotta go through. Now, it's not like a seven days of die deal, but blood and moons do happen. And if you can't tell, this annoyed me so much. You're just, you can't see anything. Everything looks like a blur. It gives you a headache. Uh, this is why you don't want to get hit by them. So, yeah, that's pretty great. Okay, so all I had to do was get a little bit of water, and we were fine. Now it's not as disorientating. And what we had in the chest is pretty interesting. 
some pumpkin seeds, which, by the way, we have seasons. Right now we're in spring, and that's a summer item. I had some gunpowder and a saddle, and I was really hoping to get a horse. Imagine man's with a castle and a horse. We get to go on so many adventures. I can call him Charlie. Charlie the horse. After a while, I figured out that all you have to do is get some flint, which, in this mod pack, flint is very prominent. You break it like three gravel and you get so much. Look at that. Three gravel, you get two flint. And one gravel, of course. But usually, you don't even get one. It is hard to find these suckers. But it's so much easier in here. The lack of inventory, though, really annoys me. Mans has no pockets. He's not infinite. He's not a god. Stevie boy is not a god. Not this time, no. He's at the mercy of the wild. And my god, there's a lot in the wild. There's bugs. There's a couple evil, mean cows. So many fish. Not to mention the zombies themselves. They get insane. They have armor. They can hold a weapon. Shields. They hit you and it's already game over. You don't even want to imagine when you get surrounded. Like... No, man's can't survive five zombies. He can at least survive one dummy. Someone at his IQ level. Someone at my IQ level. And my IQ level is learning how to farm. And we never come back to it ever again. I place this one seed. This one seed. And I was never able to come back to it. My farm was never going to start. I can never play Stardew again. My stupid seed is forever lost without a without a friend to grow and in. And this is where problems arise. It was getting very cold. I just collected a lot of flint. I thought things were going my way. And I started panicking. My little stick, my sharpened stick, also just snapped. And I was trying to get some reinforced flint. Which, you just need two flint and a crafting grid and a diagonal pattern. And you would get reinforced flint. Which then you can make reinforced sword and tools. But I had a little run in with a couple zombies. And once they start spawning, they will come after you relentlessly. So on top of the cold, I'm here trying to make sure my doors aren't busted down. As they duplicate in front of me, sending whatever these bugs are. Which also attack these zombies. But it also pushes them to me. I don't know what they are. They scare me. They're gross. They're disgusting. And their grossness was my demise. And then for whatever reason, you lose like half of everything when you spawn. And that was my first day. That's how I felt on my first day. Goodbye. So this will be day two. Basically my second attempt. Trying this again. Because I had fun. I'm just not the smartest. And for whatever reason, the video was just a little whacked. I don't understand one bit what happened. But the playback of this was just all janked. I have a shield though. And I also have some tools which I collected from the flint. And this mod, which I didn't know before, has the advanced lighting mod, or whatever it is. Realistic lighting, because if I hold a torch, I get light around me. So that's always great. And for the most part, there's nothing that happens here, just more gravel. We're going to skip right on past.
I went ahead and collected a few things. It was daytime and now it's night, if you can't tell. I was terrified. I really wanted to get back. Because being out here is not fun. No, they are way stronger in the nighttime. And they have the ability to see you. And if you can't tell, you can't see them. And it's also with an unfinished home. So instead of man's having castle, he just has shed. And the shed is not even complete. I used what spare wood and garbage I had to cook some meat. I Man's is really struggling. He's not good at living. He can't find food. He, he doesn't know his own controls. It's just terrible. And this isn't even the worst of it. Just you wait. J just wait. You will love what happens next. The Great Zombie War happens! Now, he is an O-Wimp! He has shield and reinforced sword. He is not scared of some undead. Pfft, what is he? A crybaby? A, a coward? No, 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 no. He waits for them to come, come to him. Okay, maybe, maybe man's is coward. But you, you don't understand. It is terrifying. You see that little guy down there? Bad. Bad health. Sadly, this is where the issues arise. He was finally getting tired of fighting everything. His life was meaningless. All the garbage he kept putting in his chest and picking up off the ground. Night 2 was just not being so fond. He just wants wood to make fire for food. Is that so much to ask? Well, for our friends that just like to come out of the darkness and say hello, they say yes. Clearly it's too much for them. And clearly our mans is incompetent. Because instead of throwing the reinforced throwable flint, he eats a zombie eye. Do you know how disgusting and unsanitary it is to eat such an item? He could get sick and spread it to all the other zombies. Those poor guys will have an illness they cannot fix. Oh, well, never mind. They already did. Final showdown. Two zombies versus one idiot. Our friend threw his weapon. And it showed the zombies who is the boss. And they know who the boss is. It is not me. And that ends night two.